Hey everyone, my name is Taylor and this is Studio I Do Bridals with the Debunked Bride. Today we're going to be discussing my top four recommendations on splurge-worthy items and experiences as a bride. I have been in the industry now for a little bit over seven years and also within that process have been a bride myself. The number one thing, of course, that I'm going to recommend splurging on is going to be the wedding dress. I don't mean spending ten, twelve thousand dollars on your wedding dress. I am recommending that you allot a good chunk of that wedding budget to go to your wedding dress because that is the one thing that you're going to remember time and time again and people are going to talk about after your wedding day is over. At the end of the day, you are marrying the love of your life, but what are we wearing? Right now, fast fashion is such a huge thing, not only in the world of regular retail, but also in bridal. The only way that you can guarantee that you are going to be receiving the exact item that you are purchasing is through your in-store shopping experience. This might cost you a little bit more money because you're probably spending on average $1,500 to $2,000 for your wedding dress, as opposed to $300 directly from China. However, you are guaranteed a quality product and you are purchasing typically from a small business that is going to support and back up the quality of the product that they are selling you from their designer. This also goes for accessories. Number two on my personal splurge list, um, and this comes from more of me experiencing the world of bridal from a bride's perspective, I wish I would have had the opportunity to splurge on upgrading my shopping experience. Shopping for a wedding dress is losing its luster almost because of all of this fast fashion, ordering of wedding dresses online. If you are going to be shopping in store for your wedding dress, let's make that experience even better. A lot of bridal stores will have upgraded appointment options where you can have a private appointment and rent the entire studio to yourself, have a charcuterie board, sip champagne. That to me is so luxe and something that I personally would have splurged on. Along those same lines, if you have the opportunity when booking a bridal appointment to upgrade and have an expert stylist, this is something that I a thousand percent would recommend, especially if you are number one, overwhelmed as a bride, or number two, have no idea what you are looking for. For someone to deem themselves of an, as an expert stylist, they have received years of training, they know the designers, the dresses, ins and outs, that is the person that you want guiding your bridal appointment. The value of having someone to lead you to the perfect dress who knows what they're doing, it's invaluable. That can either make or break your appointment. Number three for me has got to be alteration. The more money that you invest in the artist who is taking care of your product, your wedding garment, the most important thing that you are going to wear on your wedding day or ever quite possibly, you want to be sure that you are getting someone who is an expert in their field. That may be a little bit of a higher price tag, book and experienced and seasoned seamstress, but if you don't, the risks are so high. That $2,000 garment that you just splurged on could be ruined in a second. Be sure that you spend the money and book a quality and experienced seamstress. My fourth and final splurge recommendation is going to be about services. This includes steaming your wedding dress and veil prior to your wedding as well as wedding gown preservation after the wedding day is over. Steaming your wedding dress, ladies, is a task. It is one of the most tedious and time-consuming tasks leading up to your wedding and it has to be perfect. This is something that I recommend handing back over to the bridal store or the seamstress and letting them take care of it for you. I assure you 
it is worth the money. Wedding gown preservation to me is kind of a no-brainer. It is also number one most forgotten step of the wedding planning process. Give that responsibility to your maid of honor or your mom. Let them bring that dress and have that preserved for you. It's also one less thing that you have to worry about. That's it. Those are my top tips on things to splurge on as a bride. Thank you for tuning in to the Diva's Bride. Again, this is Taylor from Studio I Do.